we are going to multiply 1 and 2 fifths by 2 and a half. Now, let's look at um, 1, 2 fifths by 2 and a half. Graphically, so what we are going to do is to have this first, first fraction. So the, this one represents uh, 1. We are going to have a rectangle which represents 1. So we are going to use the denominator 5 to divide it so we can have uh, so this is 5. But because it is a whole, it is uh, we shared all the 5. That means 5 out of 5, which is 1 whole number. So this is how we shared it. And then we are going to have a 2 out of 5. So this is uh, the second rectangle. So, 5. So, those are 5 parts, but how many are shaded out of the 5? We have only 2 parts. So, these are the shaded parts. It is 2 shaded parts out of the 5 parts. This is the representation for this fraction. Now, let's represent the other fraction, which is 2 and a half. So, we have the same size rectangle. Our denominator is 2. So our fraction here, we are having a whole. So we can have it as a whole. So the whole rectangle is shaded. So this is a whole. Then we have this as 1. Now let's go to the next. So this is also because there are two holes. This is another hole. So we shade it all because it represents another hole. So that is what we have. That's the second hole. Now we move to representing the half this one represents a half that is one over two it means out of the two columns we are going to shade only one which means a half that is one out of two now as you see it we have said we are multiplying one and two out of five by two and a half so graphically we have one and two out of five that is this side and then graphically we have two and a half that is this side this is one and one which makes two and then a half so this is the graphical representation of that now we are going to use the distributive property of multiplication so we are going to distribute this over that what we are going to do is simply getting this and then uh, getting this superimpose it over this one and then we get an answer. So we are now going to multiply graphically this by that. So we are starting with this one by one. So let's start with this. So this is one whole which we can shade like this which is uh, 5 out of 5 giving 1 so this is now we are going to superimpose this one on top of this so it means we already have the rows here now let's have 
the column over the same diagram or the same chart. Now we are going to have it as this. So this one now we can represent it as a whole like that. And now that is what we have. If we get this and superimpose it over this, that means this uh, this times this is this over this and we get this rectangle. Now let's multiply again one by one, which is actually the same as this. Let's do it very fast. We have this. So this is one from this side. And then we have to superimpose this one. I mean one times one, superimpose having this. And then ah uh, since this one is shaded in this format, we move like this, like this. And that is one. I think you can see this demarcation we have one by one giving this one by one giving one now we are going to do one by a half so we come here we have this. so if we shed this we shall have we have shaded one now this one times a half we have shaded one now we are going to shed the a half. This a half out of this will be coming up like that. So that is what we have shaded. It is one times a half. Now we have finished multiplying one by one giving this one, one by one giving one, and then one by a half giving a half as you see it we are going to see it and then finalize on it let's move on the second it is this two out of five multiplied by one two out of five multiplied by one two out of five multiplied by a half so let's start with so this is two out of five there are two rows out of five rows now we are multiplying it by one so this one we have to divide uh, this one into two because now we have to shed the whole of it because it is one So that is what we have. 2 out of 5 by 1, this is what we get. Next, 2 out of 5 by 1 again, it is actually the same as that. Let's move our rectangle. Now, let's say it is 2 out of 5. 2 out of 5, this one, times 1. So when we multiply it with 1, we are getting this one and superimpose it over this so what we shall have that is fully shaded something like this so this is 2 out of 5 by 1 giving 2 out of 5 as we shall see now next we are having this uh, rectangle is two we are having two out of five two out of five which is that S then we superimpose a half a half by two out of five so we come and then have this half coming on top of that and then we shed the a half this is a half which is one out of two 
Now we are going to start our computation. Let's put uh, uh, each of this uh, the shading for each of these on top each of these rectangles result rectangles actually these are all our answers as results now we are going to have this double shaded the whole of this is double shaded which is one two three four five rows so we have five rows by one two by two columns so this is ten so the whole of this ten is shaded twice so we have 10 out of 10 double shaded which is one and then we look at the double shaded here we have 10 out of 10 which gives one and then when we come here we have out of the 10 cells we have one two three four five so we have five out of 10 cells double shaded so the double shading here is 5 out of 10 which gives you a half then let's come to this we have two five rows by two columns which is 10 so how many are shaded double double shading here is one two three four so we have four out of 10 which gives us 2 out of 5. Then let's come here also. We have 1, 2, 3, 4 double shading, which is 4 out of 10, giving 2 out of 5. Then we come to the last one. We have double shading, which is this and this. They are 2 out of 10 double shaded which gives you one out of five so according to our triangles here we have one this one plus one this one plus five out of ten five out of ten plus this one which is four out of ten plus this one which is also 4 out of 10 plus this one which is 2 out of 10 so this plus this gives us a 2 plus now this is the same denominators we add the numerators which will give us uh, 5 plus 4 9 plus another 4 uh, which is going to give us 13 then plus 2 which is going to give us 15 so it is 15 out of 10 so now we have 15 out of 10 meaning we have 2 plus one whole number remainder 5 out of 10 this one will give us 2 plus one whole number Rem 5 out of 10 gives us 1 out of 2, which will give us 3 and a half. Because this one and this one gives 3 and then a half. There are 4. If we multiply 1 and 2 fifths by 2 and a half, it is going to give us 3 whole numbers and a half. That's what we have.